Well, that's a complex question. Um, you're going to get arrested if you teach your child how to use pharmaceuticals and marijuana moderately. You might get arrested if you try and teach your kid to drink alcohol moderately. But what you have going there is even in crazy America, there's some recognition of cultural rights. So, for example, Jews give over Passover wine to everybody present at the table. Even if you're four years old, the local police are unlikely to break down the doors and arrest everybody. That's not, likewise, obviously many Catholic services still give wine and communion. So there's a kind of recognition that you've got to respect people's own traditions in the case of alcohol. Even though when you go to school, of course, the parents will be lectured. If you give your kid alcohol at an early age, they're going to become an alcoholic and be stumbling around the streets. They're bombarded with that information. But they're probably not going to really go in and arrest you for ignoring that. But in other areas, of course, we don't have a tradition in America of smoking marijuana. We don't even have a tradition of giving kids coffee like in Europe. It will, it'll be customary to give a German to give a small child coffee with milk. That would be considered virtually child abuse in America. So it becomes a harder, I wrote a book called Addiction Proof Your Child. Um, it becomes a lot harder to generalize what we know. It's, it's hard enough to practice what we know about alcohol, but to generalize into other areas is difficult. The principal thing, of course, is to give the child a fundamental ability to manage themselves, a confidence that there is nothing stronger than themselves to, which can grab their souls and make them addicted. And unfortunately, the neurovoco Neurochemi neurochemical meme tells them the opposite. It captures your brain chemicals. No human being can withstand it. So we're actually educating kids to become more likely to be addicted. To make your child less likely to be addicted, you have to give them a kind of a self-efficacy and an independence model, which is harder and harder to sustain. We're going to become, believe it or not, a more thoroughly addicted society by the middle of this century.